I sit on a council of 13 people that take orders only from the Rothschild Tribunal in London, which they claim they take their orders directly from Lucifer. I was the manager of Zodiac Productions, which Zodiac Productions, whose name has been changed since then, I'm not even sure what to call it now, but it's the largest music conglomerate in the world. It owns RCA Records, Columbia Records, Motown Records, it owns almost all the concert booking agencies in the United States. I said, do they still take the master to the temple room? They said, yeah. I said, do they still have the coven conjure demons into the master? He said, of course. So that we can play spells on people that we couldn't cast spells upon. All right, man, poison, we're too dumb to realize. We're in front of our blind and stupid ass eyes. Our feet is junk food, caked up and covered by lies. Our friends are so stupid, they don't listen or compromise. You try and open your eyes, research, and you'd be surprised. Sit with 13 is everywhere, even right on McDonald's fries. Every bingo, all these oil companies are tied together. Even presidents who try to stop it die. Certain handshakes, the way people relax and sit. These are all symbols of hidden communications of it. You got packs of men, they most likely implanted a Bible chip. Packs of minds and syringes, no questions, cause they slip. In the 90s, hip hop gave us guns on our hip. Change from tongue clips to tight clothes with cash and rips. They all suck in the dick. You know, kind of bastardized, like where it's fame used to be the byproduct of success, and now it's the ultimate goal. And you, if, you're, if your ultimate goal is to be famous, then you're going to do a lot to, do to get there, like sign your name in blood in a contract with the devil. Like you're going to end up in a, on a one-way street and it's going nowhere. Like that's just the truth. I've seen, I've seen so many people like forsake their, their, their moral code and their value systems just for a little bit of fame. And it's not worth it at the end of the day. It's really not. Branched out to America so he could extend his worship. Thought we were okay to grow free for a little bit and keep the Federal Reserve with a corrupt government. So many medications for all these torn ligaments. Struggling oil companies with trillion dollar profits. Meanwhile, we have a trillion dollar debt and deficit. They want us to think we're weak and powerless and we can't stop it. You don't own your marriage, your car, or your land. Signing contracts with your bloody pen and hands. Once mainstream, you can't control your own musical band. There's more buried than the oil underneath the ego first sand. Get a load of titles for your cars, lands, and vans. You can see seven digital plasmas on your TV. The version is the primary strategy. The simplest method for securing silent weapons and gaining is to keep the public is to keep the public undisciplined and ignorant of basic system principles while keeping them confused. And this is what these reality shows are doing. Confused about gender, confused about political, confused, confused about uh, your role. You understand what I'm saying? Confused about religion, confused about politics. To keep them confused, disorganized, and distracted with matters of no real importance. Whereas the media, M-E-D-I-A, which stands for Multi-Ethnic Destruction in America, or Maniac European Devils in Action, keeps the adult population's attention diverted from real social issues and captivated by no matters of no real importance. 